You've heard the phrase, get the lead out, right? Meaning, get your pencils out and get ready to get to work. Ever wonder where it comes from? Well, there's this myth that pencils used to be made with lead. They never were. Ancient Romans used to use something called a stylus, and those were made out of lead. But ever since the first modern pencil was invented by Nicolas Jacques Conté in 1795, pencils have used graphite. But what does the graphite in this pencil have to do with Teslas? Graphite is a naturally occurring mineral found all over the planet. It got its name in 1789 from the Greek word graphene, meaning to write. Graphite is one of the purest forms of carbon and is one of the softest solids known. The six carbon atoms that link to form a ring have weak covalent bonds and can slide easily over adjacent rings. This makes graphite really good for, well, writing for one. When you write a line with a number 2B pencil, the thickness of graphite left on the page is only about 143 atoms thick. That means that you could draw a line over a thousand kilometers long with the average pencil. Pencils down. Okay, your pencil is down, but get this, you're probably still using graphite right now. Because as it turns out, lithium ion batteries, like the ones found in all of our electronic devices, like your smartphone and tablet, and even electric vehicles like this Tesla, contain graphite. Lots of it, in fact. You probably thought that a lithium ion battery is full of lithium. Turns out there is lithium in there, of course, but lithium only makes up about 2% of a typical lithium ion battery. We interviewed Eric de Saulnier, the CEO and president of Nouvelle Monde Graphite Mine in Canada about that. So you need the graphite to host the lithium ion in the battery. So it's a very important part of the battery. It's, you cannot remove the graphite in a lithium ion battery. So, uh, you know, the cathode could be lithium, uh, you know, NMC would be nickel, manganese, cobalt. NCA like Tesla would be uh, nickel, uh, cobalt, aluminum. Okay. But then the anode is always graphite. It's graphite, natural or artificial. And now they start to add a little bit of silicon to increase the capacity but you know they can put maximum three to five percent so that's the anode part of it so roughly 14 percent of the battery is graphite oh wow that's so that's why elon musk said a uh, few years ago it should be called a nickel a nickel graphite battery not a lithium-ion battery but interesting throughout modern history people who invested in new technology before others knew it would become the next big thing made a killing on this channel, we predict that electric vehicles are going to disrupt ICE, or internal combustion engine cars, and replace them altogether as the price of EVs gets cheaper. Because let's face it, EVs like the Tesla Model 3 are cleaner, safer, cheaper to maintain, and cheaper to run. So many people who agree with our predictions ask us how they can invest in the next big thing. You can definitely invest in companies like Tesla that are at the forefront of EV innovation and production. You can also invest in companies that make the components for electric cars. Companies like Bosch that make electric motors and electronics, or companies like CATL, Panasonic, LG Chem, and SK Innovation that make the EV batteries. You can also go one step further and invest in companies that produce the raw materials needed for EV batteries, like graphite. So I think two places to invest, raw materials at the end of the chain and the car maker at the other end, you know that can have more flexibility on their margins. Currently, about two-thirds of the world's graphite comes from China, which is great for Chinese battery companies, but if you want to make batteries outside of China, you'll have to pay high export tariffs and high shipping costs. Plus, it may become an unreliable supply as more and more companies make more and more batteries. Because let's face it, there are a billion cars in the world, and to power them all with batteries will take a lot of graphite. There are some graphite mines in India, Brazil, and Australia, but the graphite mine we're excited about on this channel is right here in North America. The Nouvelle Monde graphite mine in Canada is one of the only mines we've heard of in the world that is aiming to be carbon neutral and powered by electricity, not fossil fuels. All their trucks will be electric, and all their machines will be powered by clean hydroelectricity. 
As this EV disruption takes place, there is going to be an explosion of companies and factories going online to build all these millions of electric vehicles. I asked Eric de Saulnier about advancing battery technology. Will his mind be online in time to capitalize on demand for lithium batteries, or is something better coming soon? We have 60 plants, 60 mega factories that are being built on the planet. Wow. And if you consider all those factories by 2023 will require uh, over 500,000 ton more of graphite, 2028, a million ton more of graphite at least. Personally, in the business I am, the question is uh, when the graphite market will start to decline. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't see that, even though we have another technology in the next 10, 15 years that is being developed. Right. So I think we are with lithium ion batteries for a while. That's a good point. Researchers are constantly tinkering with battery chemistry to find denser, lighter, cheaper mixtures. But the ultra-thin matrix of carbon found in graphite allows a framework to hold these chemistries together. With all these battery companies demanding raw materials, having a reliable supply of graphite right here in North America is going to be very valuable. If you're interested in what you've learned on this episode, we recommend you check out our full interview with Nouveau Mons Eric de Saulnier here. Thank you for watching. Please consider supporting us on Patreon. We have a ton of cool perks, including our Patreon bonus stories, where for a buck a month, you can watch our weekly Tesla Time News exclusive bonus videos. We invite you to watch our weekly shows like Tesla Time News on Mondays, In-Depth on Tuesdays, and Tesla Model 3 Tips on Wednesdays. And don't forget, subscribe and like this video. It really helps our channel. Now you know.